Hello FIFA faithful Bearhams here and welcome to episode 32 of the Youth Tour. We are just going to get straight into it. We'll take a look at the calendar as I did simulate two months since we have nothing to do in the January transfer window. We got everybody that we need to make this title run. Also, I mean, we're not really going to play the FA Cup. Our prerogative is the Premier League and the Champions League. And so what we did was, in January, we did simulate uh, the FA Cup. We made somewhat of a... No, we didn't even make a run. We got to the replay. We did beat Sheffield Wednesday 2-0, but then we did lose to Bournemouth 2-0. But simulated all of December and all of January. So in this episode, we will start the round of 16 of the Champions League. We will play both legs, away and home. And then these two games in between those legs... We're going to simulate both, and it's going to be very interesting to see how we do based on chance. And then the final game of the episode, we will play Everton. I know we played them in the last episode, but they are still in second place, and this will essentially be the title decider. All right, let's see how we do against a real team, Atletico Madrid. They're already pretty stacked. As you might have saw, they have uh, Matthias De Ligt. He's gonna eat us alive. I hope not, but it might be, might be the case. I mean, shoot, I'll take three. Slulich. Oh, there's a good run. O'Neill's through. Not quite though, as Hernandez is on his case, keeping it though. Ah, too heavy of a touch on that one, but it will stay with us. Garcia Raja, great play. Gillespie has a run from Benson. Benson passes it to John. Oh. Perfect passing between Gillespie, Benson, and Chris John is already in the 14th minute. The Swans from South Wales get on the board. Oh my gosh, already. Who is just killing it right now? There's Delict. There is, uh, there's the next best thing in defending as he easily heads that in. And, uh,. Yeah, there goes the happy feeling. Oh, don't do... Oh, what? What? What type of bull honky was that call? I had the ball and he ran into me. They're really overpowering that left side. Audrey Zola now. Good play by Stewart to fidget the ball out. And that will be the end of the half. We do get the early goal from Chris John. But they just answer right back. Matthias Delict hammering one home. That man. He's going to do wonders at Juventus. I mean, we're in an okay shape as it is. Still 1-1 with the away goal, but don't know how long that away goal is going to be helpful. So try to get one to Cipriano straight away, but a little too ambitious to start off this second half. Oh, they got Dupe, Clement Dupe, another regen. French striker, he's going to oh, he's gonna get past Lulic too. Cross the box, a little too far. That might be, without a doubt, the worst shot I've ever seen. Get that through to Benson. Benson now, he's a little quicker than Lulic. He'll have to cut back. Does get a cross in the box, looking for some. Oh, O'Neal did stick a foot to it. Probably our last chance to get an away goal. And it's going to fall flat as O'Black is going to launch that. Maybe a chance here. Oh, no, no. Lost it. Started out so good, but then Thais Delict did us in, man. So after 90 minutes here in Madrid, we were okay, but should have been a lot better before we simulate the games against manchester united and arsenal we'll take a look at the table after 26 games we do have a six point lead over everton and i'm hoping it will stay that way so we will go to old trafford to play manchester united who have been dominant so far as they've beaten spurs dortmund and they'll continue and oh no andy o'neill gets injured that is the worst news i'm hoping it's not too serious so we'll have to take a look at the injured card. Two months, oh my god, with an LCL. Well, time to be honest with you. Even O'Neal, 
kind of disappointing. I was expecting a lot more out of him, especially he's a 90 overall right mid, right winger. I mean, honestly, let's just take a look at the stats quick, see how Andy O'Neill fares. Yeah, 32 games, five goals, four assists. That's downright embarrassing. Like, he's getting outplayed by a guy at his same spot. Simply getting outplayed. It's it's unreal how disappointing he's been. Off to the Emirates to play Arsenal, and we do win! This time, Cipriano gets a goal, Hallam gets a goal. See? Cipriano can score at that spot. Eamon O'Neill? Nope. Just been one big disappointment. So, good job to Cipriano. Second leg of this round of 16 battle against Atletico Madrid. If we do, in fact, keep this result, we will be heading on to the quarterfinals. But I don't know about that. All right, guys. Just don't let in an away goal. For the love that's holy. Just don't let anything in. Get that through. Come on, Gillespie. Fight him off. Fight off Delict. Fight him off. Fight off the bastard. So we're putting a lot of pressure on him already. Good play. Oh, through. Through. No! Oh, what a play by Kennedy to get the ball to John, but they have all black in there. Pellegri now. Cannot let up a goal across the box. Let's clear it out. All right, we'll call it a half. Perfect. All right. Got that done. Let's get the other one done. If we can hold on for another nil-nil, that's what I want. Oh, if we can get one good through ball, I think we can break him open. Oh, here it is. Cipriano, please! Yes! I told you I called it! The type of pressure they were putting on, it was just one good through ball. And we do find Cipriano, the man who, although is almost 10 overall points lower than Eamon O'Neill, is so much better in so many ways. My goodness. What a pass from Kennedy, too. Able to find him. A good flick by him as well. We do get on the board. Breathe just a tiny bit easier now. But then again, if they do score, it's not the end of the world, though. Oh, flip that through. Body may. Cuts. Oh, and it's goal number two for Cipriano. What great display of footwork by Body may. Oh, man. Already, Cipriano just has the Superman logo on his chest. My God. All right. That is the response I wanted from the Swans. I'm sorry I say Atletico. I'm just so used to, you know, the Americans saying athletic. Athletics. Atletico. It's not quite the right. Wait. Dang it. All right. That is a cause for concern as they do get one back here in the 71st minute as it is Danny Almo, guy that we played uh, against. Yeah, he played for Juventus. He's going to find. Yes! Yes, we do get another one. It's Garcia Raja, and guess who, guess who got him the ball? It was Cipriano. I do have a song for Cipriano. I'm just not going to sing it. Maybe if he scores a hat trick, I will sing the Cipriano song. It's pretty simple, and you probably get it right away. Cipriano now. Oh, come on. Keep running, Body May. That's what I like about Body May. Gets across the box. Header! Yes! Gillespie! We're just pouring it on at the moment. 4-1. to 5-2 on aggregate. Great cross. We will find Casey Gillespie. And we are putting Atletico to bed. Oh, all right, good. Ian Stewart. Yes! We are through to the quarterfinal. What an inspired second half from Cipriano and the Swans. Wow, I was... I, yep, I was sweating. That first half, I was sweating so much. And then finally... As I said, we just needed one good through ball, and for some reason, Atletico was in this line. I could see the line, and I saw Cipriano running. Jason Kennedy found him. 
and with four just goals out of nowhere, we are off to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Final game of the episode, once again, we take on Everton. Here's Diop to Fornells. Out wide to Lopez. Tries to get a cross in, which he will, and it's going to go in. They gave uh, Everton some extra time near the end of the first half, and we do pay for it. I have made a triple substitution for the second half. I've switched out Cipriano, switched out Hallam, and I switched out Jackers because all three of them were quite tired. Oh, good pass out wide. Lulich, make it a run. Has to cut back. Gets tripped up. No call, though. But he will retain possession using all of his defensive might. He's going to find Garcia Raja. Maybe a chance here for a cross. There's a header. How did he do that? Chris John. The little winger soars into the sky, gets the cross from Lulich. We're back in this one. Now out wide to Diop. Diop gets past Lulich, does get a cross in. Good header. Oh my god, what a block by Stewart. I better put that in the highlight reel. Oh, good through ball. Lulich can get it, which he will. Lulich now with some space. Men in the box. Does get across and looking for Gillespie. Ah, gets cleared out. Garcia Raja keeps it though. Diop. Out wide to Marsh. Marsh with a cross. There we go. Chungus. Thank you, sir. Second goal of the game. Not for him, but for the team. As with little less than 10 minutes left. Could probably get something out of this. Ozeman with the cross. Just cleared out. Thank you. Good play by Lulich. So we'll find John. Might be a chance here. John's going to try to get it up, but it's going to be an easy catch for Pickford. But I think that'll do it. As so we do come back here at the Liberty Stadium, defeating Everton by a score of 2-1. to one. We get goals from Chris John and that man, Big Chungus, who continues to deliver when we ask him to. He's not quite the star, but he helps in certain situations. To finish off the episode, we're going to take a look at the standings as well as who we play in the next round of the Champions League. And, oh my god, Real Madrid. Oh boy, this one's going to be fun. As we take a look at the table, we still have a 5-point lead over Man City and an 8-point lead over Chelsea as we've all but knocked Everton all the way down to 4th. So I'm hoping next couple episodes we can continue this form in the Premier League. Even if we have to come back, and before you know it, we might lift ourselves a Premier League trophy. So yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, toodaloo.